My name is Alan Arayek. My unique talent is the prevention of dementia. Today we'll be continuing with an educational video series related to the prevention of dementia. The brain does not age. As you get older, you develop better language skills. You increase your vocabulary. You're able to improve social and complex reasoning skills. Your inductive reasoning improves. You practice an enhanced application of your trust you're able to enjoy incorporating decades of experience into new decisions. Your spatial reasoning improves. You become better with your ability to focus more on positive information and less on the negative. You enjoy enhanced wisdom. This is not compatible with the decay of an organ. Biopsies of the brains from the most aged will show perfectly normal brain tissue next to brain tissue damaged from micron strokes. The brain does not age is a concept that is significantly different from what you have been taught. This may actually also directly conflict with what you have learned. Let me share. I love satellite learning programs. My DVR is filled with almost every type of learning program. One day, while I was working on the micron stroke hypothesis of Alzheimer's disease and dementia, I was watching one such program. A renowned physicist came on and he started to describe how everything in the universe can be explained by a mathematical equation. He started to draw out equations for matter, energy, time, space, simply explaining how a glass of milk is able to remain on the counter by a mathematical equation. That is when it hit me. If I could describe the prevention of dementia with a mathematically correct equation, then I would have something that would be able to be offered to the world. It could be weighed, measured, researched, and judged. This is my mathematical representation of why the brain does not age and it is related to damage over time. As we mentioned before, this concept is going to be significantly different from anything else that you have learned or you have been told. Here at the Dementia Prevention Center, we completed a research project. MRI images were provided to radiology teams. They were not told the age of the brains. Without this information, they were unable to properly predict the age of an individual brain. A brain of a younger person that was damaged from micron strokes was viewed as one of that decades older. The MRI of an older individual who protected their brain from the effects of micron strokes was then viewed as an individual many decades younger. When the radiology teams did not know the age of a patient, they were unable to look at the MRI and say what is age appropriate. A further point that you could use today, when you meet with the radiology team that will be reading your brain MRI, ask them, if a 65 year old who protected their brain from the effects of micron strokes from all those years had a normal brain, would this then actually be considered abnormal because there was no damage, there was no age appropriate changes? The radiology world simply cannot have it both ways. A normal brain that's been protected cannot all of a sudden be the abnormal brain. The abnormal brain that has suffered damage from decades of micron strokes cannot be considered normal. Simply because a problem is very common does not make the normal state. Brain damage is very common. Aside from this organized educational video series, no one else is comprehensively describing to you what needs to be done to prevent dementia. I'm sure they will tell you, exercise, watch your blood pressure, stay engaged, control your cholesterol, do Sudoku, stop smoking. I'm not saying any of that will hurt, but there are many other critical details and specific goals of the unique individual that need to be addressed and thoroughly evaluated. That is what we are going to talk about next. My name is Alan Arayek. My unique talent is the prevention of dementia. Thank you for watching.